And I, I'm not sure whether we're talking through. I don't think we are. I'm about to go live, and it's live. I'm about to just waiting to load before I mm-hmm. jump us in. You said join the server. Watching, yeah. Can't see. Why can't you see? Oh, I can I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me on the over the yes, music. Yes, you are. I've got you up on my telly. A bit of a delay, but you shouldn't hear us now. I've turned us down. That's all right. I'm about ninety percent in. Then it's going to do the race volume, and then I'll go live. With about five minutes to go. I've never done grid. That's the only thing I haven't done. <coughs> Someone's really can't see, so I'm hoping it's going. Yep. Yeah. Crap. Okay. Right, we're in the green room, so they won't hear us. No, they will hear us. Crap, it's not going to work either. Okay. Well, after a few hiccups, we've finally got this sorted. Welcome everybody to round one of the East Coast series. I'm Rexy and I've got Nodo with me, so I hope you enjoy the broadcast. It's our first time doing it. The boys have got another three minutes, 20 seconds left of practice before we get going in the race itself. So what we might do is just have a quick look at the Hockenheim layout, which is located in the south of Germany. So the Hockenheim layout used to be an old Formula 1 circuit running up through the back Black Forest. Now being highly modified into a tighter circuit with the great para- parabolic turn leading into the hairpin. Great opportunity spot for overtaking. And then we sort of come back through the Mercedes corner, another good spot for overtaking. And then we come back into what was known as the old arena segment before we come back around onto the main straight. It's going to be very tight and twisty in the old parts of the circuit but the new parts of the circuit are quite open. And how are you going, Nathan? I think I'm all right, John. That was a, uh, that was a lovely um, description of the track there. It was, it's certainly going to be a, an interesting night to how many Ks these boys are going to do, and they will uh, I'm looking forward to it. Can't race it, may as well watch it. Yes, that's right. So how are we going with your finger, mate? Where are we up to? Uh, where we're up to is this is going to be the new part-time job for a while because it's uh, it's going to take us a while to get back out there. Ah, uh, it's not good, mate. Yeah. Not good at all. <laughs> uh, so I know it, you're fishing for a, uh, a lovely answer there, but unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> that is not the one that I could give because uh, at least yeah, it's, it's been not... operated on, been straight, and I did think about just chopping it off with the angle grinder. Or even for one, but I even thought about the plasma cutter because at least it would like it off at the same time. <laughs> it's one way yeah. to do it, I guess. Yeah, two birds, one stone, but no, we'll be out for another six to eight weeks okay. before I can get back to into normal work stuff, so... What I might try... Little... What I might try and do, mate, is we might just try and jump the gun here while the boys are doing the last bit of practice and we've got a few minutes left and I'll give good old SDK a run for its money and see if we can bring up the grid and I'll talk everybody through the grid for tonight's race. The boys have already done their qualifying, so we're not going to see anything. So here we go. And 
That's worked real well. So I guess we won't see the grid. <laughs> we won't worry about that one. Um, Is there any way that we can put up like a, a little L plate on the screen somewhere so that everyone knows that we've got our learner's permit for our... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just about need it, don't we? Um, this DK is not playing the game on the grid one there, so I apologise for that. Try the old show button again. And nothing's coming up. Might be, maybe because they're still in practice. Um, we might just leave that one for a minute and see if we can come back to it before they grid. Um, for those who don't know, Black Warboys is on pole. It's at a cracking qualifying time. Leading into the racing as we had. Um, yeah, so it was a very cracking time that we had. Um, and I think Johnston was up there with him, so it's going to be a great fight at the front of the front of the grid. Um, there's a few familiar faces in the competition, and there's a, quite a few faces I don't really know. So for those who don't know, the series is being set up by Ben Anthony, who looks after the V8 Veterans Series, um, which is quite well run um, and quite well well followed with over 80 drivers in that competition. I'll just see if we can show the grid now. It's uh, always yep, promising we, when you run one grid. series really well and yeah. you're uh, up to another one. Yeah, we got the grid now. I'll quickly try and do this as they grid up. Um, I believe I've got a minute to do this. So we've got Blake Warboys and Johnson on the front row, followed by Toy McGuire from Taipan, Harris and Dengate, Mitchell Stewart, Paul Young, Craig Roffey, Michael Dumbrell, Jamie McKnight, John Dra Josh Dray, Scott McCune, Nathan Loveridge, Steve Kennedy, Rob Carmichael, Nathan Gore, Jason DiBattito, Preston Smart, Ash Barella. And she's not quite playing the game. Um, we've got Ben Stewart, Ryan Van Ree. And I'm going to jump out here because I'm not sure that Ben's given me to grid up. So I apologise everyone else if I didn't get to show your name. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. When re-watching everyone, enjoy the learner's commentary. <laughs> <laughs> and we're away. Oh, we've got a staller. Yep. Um, as we get going here, we'll follow the leaders. We've got a few out wide. And Planning going on. It's pretty much going on here. Simon Farrington in the action there. For some reason I'm supposed to be looking at the leaders, but it's not working for me. Blake Warboy's out in front at the moment, still leading up into the hairpin through the parabolic turn. And Blake's nicely driving. Got a good lead here. Out to a almost to a second lead from Troy Maguire, followed by Damian Johnson, Harrison Dengate. Jamie McKnight's blunder of a start and worked his way up into fifth. For some reason, trading paints hasn't quite kicked in, so I apologise for that one. But I'm sure they'll load in as time goes on. So it's been a good start. Uh, yeah, apart from those few that incidents with Bazaar, I think everyone's just about managed to make it through which for a long race, all you want to do is survive survive the start. There's a few calls down the back there. Uh, it's looking quite like Blake's pulling away a bit here. Damien Johnson's keeping the pressure. Oh, big lose there by Troy. Troy Maguire getting absolutely sideways and catching it. Very lucky to get that one back in tow. The V8's a very tricky car to drive. Lots of power down, lots of wheel spin. Rather difficult, so he's done well there. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to think you're doing fantastic and then you see some of the times that these boys are doing and you go, ah, oh, well, I'll just uh, I'll keep working at it then. Well, I know we've got quite a few boys in the series here of ran in the, running the vets and no, to give you a cracking idea, you've got the likes of Jamie McKnight, who's now down in fifth. You know, he he's dominates pretty much the vets for the last couple of seasons, and you know, he's fighting back in fifth in this one. But 
you know, Jamie comes with a lot of experience and it'll be to see what James Jamie can do against these young guys up in front of him, including very young Harrison Dengate, which is an impressive little story, young Harrison. He's a cracking young driver. Right on the other end of the age, age barrier there. Well, for those who don't know, Harrison and Jamie actually competed for Taipan eSport in the um, Le Mans 24-hour about two or three weekends back. I think Jamie gave poor old Harrison a bit of an education. <laughs> sure, we'll see many different styles and race strategies too as we go on, especially throughout the series, with having all these, these different ranges. And for those at home... You know, it's a 300k race. There's no compulsory pit stops, no compulsory safety car. Um, if you require a tow, you've got to request it. You can't just escape and go back to the pits, which is quite a common thing that you see in a lot of online racing, that you can just hit escape and start again. But in this series, you can't. And also have live race control with, with Ben and Rich running the show there and, you know, and Luke Holland as well giving a hand. And those boys are all over what they're doing with that. And they're hard and fair, especially those that have, have watched Race Stars TV with Luke's calls and have seen that Luke, you know, seen that the race control is quite fair and quite good. So we might just have a look back through the pack a little bit and have a look at a few more people. We might have a quick look at Mitch Stewart, Michael Stewart. Got Michael Stewart here in one of the M1 cars. I think it's M1. If I've got it wrong, I apologise. Behind him, he's got Michael Dumbrell. They're pushing fairly close gap there. It's great looking liveries, these ones. I'm really impressed with them. I think I did get the team wrong. It's, it's HSR Hypersonic Racing. Um, I think this is actually a new new team, I believe. I think they've only just had a formation of this name in the last 24 hours or 48 hours. Talking with Ben last night. Yeah, uh, that's certainly not a, uh, it's a nice bright orange colour, not a bad livery. I haven't uh, come across it in any of my online racing case, so. Well, I think it's brand new. Um, Michael does, always good to see. Michael does vets and Michael Dumbrell, I think I've raced against him once before in another series. For all those out there watching who don't know, I'm not the world's greatest driver, but I do love my iRacing and I do love my iRacing V8s. And we'll have a flick further down the field. Another one of my mates from the vets. Stop picking on them. We've got Kirsten Smart from Synergy Racing. Uh, Kirsten's another one who's usually always in the first split and always doing really well. And yeah, he's in the middle of the pack here. There's a long train here that he's hiding behind with Rob Carmichael in front. Nicholas Lovridge in front of Kirsten and Scott McEwen in front of him. Scott's another one of the vets drivers that's stepped across the series as well. I've got to stop favouring these vets guys, but these are the guys I race against Thursday night, so I know most of these guys reasonably well. Um, it's good seeing uh, it's good seeing the amount of people that are, I suppose you could say, like cross-series pollination, if that's such a thing. Sort of being able to see all your all your normal paces and all your normal series, like you're saying, and then like... Uh, Blake and Harrison and us from WKMP sort of driving around and just getting that good mix of okay what happens if you do put a chunk of guys from that series and that series together what's going to happen and I think this is a perfect uh, perfect series for that I'd have to agree with that it's, it's it's really exciting to see what's going on here as you can see Kirsten's paints just dropped in so I do apologise I was running late this evening so I didn't get in early enough to get trading paints updated and being a new series not everyone I've raced with before we're just going to have a quick look here. I've just been heard in my ear that Shannon McMillan from WKMP McMillan Brothers had a crash. So let's just go to the Dirty Pig replay and see what happened. Oh, that's not a good view, is it? And I've lost that one. I'll go back to it. Just bear with me. What? He's just driven off for some reason. Not sure what's happened there. I'm sure he'll get back into the action as soon as he can. And we'll go back to live pictures. 
a, a lot of kilometres to go and playing the pit stop strategy right or even getting a safety car that will bring you right back into the game, that will. Yeah, that will, definitely. Let's have a look. Don't forget, if you're sitting in at home and you want to comment, please feel free to jump in and say something. We'll tell us where you are, tell us who you're backing, tell us who you're supporting. I know we're not doing a professional broadcast here. I'm doing the best I yeah, can yeah. to try and, and help any, out for a free series. Comment, any fellow commentators that are watching this, please feel free to leave <laughs> the tips and we will do our best <laughs> to incorporate them. Um, I'm not trying to sound desperate. However, if that's a tip, leave it in the comments and we will uh, we will thank you for it. I noticed my, my mates Liam Jensen and Wade Benson from Full Send Motorsport have already wished us luck. So. They're already on to it, are they? Yeah. Um, Wade's a very, very good commentator. Don't mind the old Wade. He's, he, he does a pretty good job at it. He does. So, um, the, the, all the boys to go up there to get their stream going. It's, uh, maybe we might have to watch a few of their, a few of theirs so to uh, see what we can learn from them. But even in even his own Wade manages to, uh, to keep everyone entertained for the evening. He does. And a big shout out to Josh Borella who is watching along on the stream as well. Let's have a look through the field. We'll go to another Vets driver and have a look how he's getting on, young Michael Schroeder. From Forked Up Esport. He looks like he's in a good little battle pack here as well. He's starting to spread out a little bit, but sitting back here in 16th. And so you're not too far from the from the lead four. We're in a good little paddle battle pack here going looking for a spot up the inside here. he's going to dive deep dive deep hang on to it oh he's Plenty holding on on the outside him. oh oh bit of love oh, there oh. A bit of love just a little bit of hate just thought you know i'm right there going on and So there's a lot of good battle packs forming around here. This is quite good. I'll keep working my way back. We might have a look and drop back. We'll have a look at... We'll go back here, we'll have a look. We'll go back to Mark Howard. Mark Howard in the alcohol holder. He's in a really good little battle here as well. He's got a few cars around him. Um, let's bring up the battle box. So yeah, Mark. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's sliding off. off. Ryan. Ryan Carlson. Ryan Carlson, was it? Yep. Yeah, was that a, they did look pretty close going into that section. Yeah, Ryan's just gone off track and he's just come back on. So we've got a little bit of happening behind him there. So, Mark, that's a good looking car too, I've got to say. Don't mind, yeah, the old, don't mind the old purple on a car. <laughs> And let's have a look what other battle packs can we go. We might just go back up the front, back up to Blake, and have a look how he's tracking. He's doing really well. He's still a second ahead of Damien Johnstone. Oh, Troy well, Maguire's dropped back a little. He's slowly reeling it in because Blake had nearly a, about just over a second gap, and now he seems to, uh, seem to have brought it just under that one second barrier. Uh, he's doing quite well here. It's a great track. I love these tracks where you can see you know, way back the rest mm. of the field. And of course, I will apologise now for my shameless bias of WKMP cars <laughs> as we do this. <laughs> Let me have a look. So, just having a look, it's something interesting that. Um, Jamie McKnight's got a 2x against him. So for those who watch Jamie, for those who watch Jamie race quite regularly, he's quite commonly known for not getting any incident points. So I'm assuming he won't be a happy camper about that one. And if Wendy's watching, a big shout out to Wendy. That's Jamie's mum. She's a big fan of, of Jamie's broadcast. Jamie when he's being broadcasted. And while I'm doing shout outs, I do a shout out to Harrison's grandmother Mary as well. This is a great little track, as I said. Mm -hmm. Looks like these boys are settling in. We've done eight of 66 laps, still a fair way to go. 
It'll be uh, interesting. I wonder how many of these drivers on track, it's, if this is their first sort of, I suppose you could say, almost like endurance-style racing. I wonder if most of them have come from sprint racing or <clears throat> how many of them have a good have had a good mix of the both or if this is a cup of tea for some and they're just sitting and leaning into that nice smooth rhythm. Yeah, that's a rather interesting point, though, because, like, I'm sort of... Here's Jamie now, his paint's come in. This is Mr McKnight. Um, just thinking out while we're watching this, like Jamie's a good five seconds off off that lead four, and I'm kind of just wondering to myself whether Jamie, whether Jamie is um, ooh, a little bit loose there, whether Jamie's playing the long game and fuel saving, which is another strategy that's quite common in these endurance races. If you can save fuel and go two or three laps further and get into that last stop and take less fuel, you can jump people in the pits and you know, leave yourself with more fuel at the end. That, that short that final pit stop when it goes from all this just let's see let's get to the end and it changes from the right oh it's on let's let's get the first to that finish line and turns into that sprint style format a bit of fatigue it always makes for an interesting finish that's exactly right it definitely does and i'm going to do a favor this is what i like to do and We'll go have a look at some of the other cars further down the back. There's been some passing opportunities. Darren Crosby, another vet's driver, has gotten past. Christopher Thornton, let's go back and have a look. I know this was for P36, but let's go to the Dirty Pig replay and have a look at an overtake in half a second. Should go to that. And that really worked well for me. That's back on Jamie's side. Don't know what happened there. We'll go back to live pictures. I wonder how many hours we need to. Uh, Learn to I wonder drive. how many hours we need to accrue before we get our P plates on this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing a dodgy. That was poor. TK's let me down a bit. Um, just while I've been. Looking at that, there was an overtake. Troy Maguire passed Harrison Dengate, I think, but then Harrison's got back. So, just reading through my notes. A little wide, wide joining on the track. Well, yeah, it's disappointed I couldn't get the replay of that, but anyway. So, let's just go up. I'd say that's a good battle that we've got between Troy and Harrison. So, we'll go have a look at Troy from Taipan Esports. Harrison's keeping the pressure on him there. And we do have some feedback from Stuart Warboys telling Brandy to put a bit more enthusiasm into into his commentary. Uh, thanks, Stewie. I will uh, I'll get right onto it for you. How's that going for you? <laughs> Shout out to Stewie for uh, for knowing me for a very very long time and always happy to give a tip or two. He's a great man for it. I'm expecting another comment there, Stewie. <laughs> so I'll take half hourly uh, commentating report updates. So Damien Johnstone's now catching up to Blake, which is quite interesting. So we'll go back to the leaders and we'll have a look. So Damien seems to be just sitting there nicely in that second slot behind him, up to a second behind him, 8.6 on the clock here. And, you know, it's under a bit of pressure. And this is a really interesting series as well, like for for Blake. Blake's only just jumped in and started doing scops and doing a lot more open setup racing. So for those at home learning along like the rest of us, open setups is some setup, some series you do, you get a fixed setup like Vets. We get setups made by Jamie that everyone races the same setup. In this series, the setups are open, so you've got to make your own setup. So you've got to work out that balance between a race car that's quick for qualifying and working out how to have a race car that's going to be good for the long endurance. So I'm just wondering whether Damien, with his experience, because being an experienced campaigner like he is, has got a better setup than Blake. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. It'll be, <clears throat> again, this early in the race, you've got to wonder, is it something that's, is just Damien's just sitting there and trying to sit in the table, or is he trying to push on and, and get that lead? And what's it going to be like when they get towards the end when that pace and that setup really becomes uh, critical? 
Blake has nicked a little bit more back on that lap, though, so I have a feeling that both <laughs> these boys are going to push on. It looks like it. Okay. It looks like it. The, um, and just a shout out back to you, Nathan. Stewie wants to know how your nose picking finger is going. Yeah, look, the, the good part about hurting your uh, pinky, Stu, is that all other fingers are perfectly fine to keep picking your nose. So everything is as per normal there. So lucky in that aspect. It could have been, well, mate, if you couldn't, if you couldn't get it, I don't know what would happen. Well, Nicholas Love Ridge has crashed. He's dropping back through the order here. Let's see if the Dirty Pig replay will pick it. Work for me for this one. Oh, it's a big dive. Oh, he's clipped him. Poor old Nicholas has been spun. I reckon Ben Anthony and the race control team will be put to work on that one. It'll be interesting to see if anything comes up. And we'll go back to live pictures. So Blake's battling still nicely. We've still got some good battle packs. We might drop back and have a look at Mike Schrader again, back to that group that's sitting in 12th. They've sort of dropped back a bit from the rest of the group. But we have a really good long train here. So we'll drop back and we'll have a look what's going on here. So you can see we've got Michael, followed by Craig Roffey, Nathan Gore. I've raced against Nathan Gore a little bit in the OSR Dev Series, which is a development series where you let have ra car raids on and everything else. And a fixed setup, followed by Michael Dumbrell, Ash Barella, the co-creator with Ben Anthony of this series, Damien Cairns from Taipan Esports. E Last going on here into the hairpin at oh, the start of this chain. It's a big move by Roffy. roffy has got it done by the looks. Oh, oh. all going to get past as well. Oh, oh this is oh. going to be on here. This is getting messy. <laughs> this is getting messy. Yeah, now, who's going to play the patient card? Who's going to want to just sit and who's going to want to be leading that train? She's tough going. She's tough going here. Roffy made the big move there, but he hasn't quite pulled away from him. All that cars still look relatively clean as well. There's no, no, no big hits, no, no bump and runs or anything uh, bad like that. Looking, speaking, so they're all they're all keeping it clean. Speaking of big hits, Ben Stewart's crashed, so we might just uh, a lot of action happening here. We've had a few crashes in the background, so not sure exactly who, what, and where. But we might just have a look at Ben Stewart. We might just go to the replay. Oh, oh, that's a loss. Oh, that's another big dive. Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, Same thing again. It's getting later in the stage now, and that hairpin's really becoming becoming quite dicey for everybody. I think tyres are starting to go, and I think people being in long trains are starting to get a little bit impatient. Yeah, no, we're not even a third, not even a quarter of the way into the race. The boys have got to be a bit more patient than this. There's nothing off there in the yeah, back. Here yeah. we go, three wide, three wide. Yeah, it's, three on. Wide it's, on. it's on, it's on, it's on. Ash, could Stephen Bradbury at here being oh. behind all of this? Oh, oh, who's that spun? That then gate. Uh, it looks is like it? it. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, and there's a oh, oh. It's happening. Oh, it's oh happening. car on the oh, roof. Dear. Car on the roof. That's Michael Schrader. He's on his side. That's definitely going to see a safety car. I definitely think there will be a safety car. And and that was Harrison Dengate, I believe. It was in that crash. I wonder what happened to H to be there. Unless he just wanted to watch all that unfold. But normally when you're that far up the field, you back don't know what's happening back there. This is probably not the spot to be. Let's go back up the front here. Jump back on Blake. Blake's still under pressure. I haven't heard anything about a safety car yet. Yep, safety car's coming out. I believe. Who will pit? Who will stay out? This will be the battle at the moment. 
14 laps down. You've got to be thinking about pitting, I would think. Yeah. I haven't quite got the comms going for in-house, but I believe we've got something happening here. Let's just see. I'll just go back through the list here. Just trying to work out what happened to Harrison. Still not 100% certain. Still don't know why Harrison was back there. I've got no indication that he went to the Inder pits, so I'm not sure. It's going to be one of those seven wonders of the, of the world it is. I wonder if it was through <clears throat> through that battling that he was doing, trying to trying to get that place back. Meanwhile, I wonder wonder what the leaders are doing. What's Blake gonna do? What's Damien gonna do? Uh, they're all staying out, so I wonder whether we're not getting a safety out. car. Maybe they didn't get a safety car. Still plenty going on the comms, so I imagine they're still going to be talking about our incident from before. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of chat going over race control radio, so hopefully the safety car will calm everyone down and we'll all get back in that chain and we'll see what a lovely restart can bring. Michael Schrader's back in the pits, so I'm assuming that he must have got back on his wheels. As you can see, Blake's now starting to get, the leader of this race is starting to get into some traffic. Which would have expected a bit more than 15 laps before we started having traffic, but we'll keep going. What we might do is Pick a different camera. Nash Perella's moved up into 13th. 3 into 14th. Damien Cairns has passed him. And I've got three viewers at the moment, so big thank you to our three viewers. That's uh, well. Now that you say that, there's people watching, listening to us. I oh, know. I'm surprised. A little bit of pressure haven't, on. Oh, haven't, oh, we... haven't scared them off. That's good. Right. Interesting to see here how Blake and Damien go with traffic. Whether the traffic gets in the way. We've got Shannon McMillan in front there. I'm not sure what the go is with Shen. Shen's usually a little bit further up. Can race in split one in vets. So he's probably had a bit of a run in somewhere along the line. Nicely lets him pass. That's good good driver etiquette to let him pass. Looks like Andrew Hoffman and Todd Martin have gotten together. So we might go for well, these two boys. Oh, not Damien's not. We'll have a look what happened there with Todd Martin and Andrew Hoffman. Let's go to the Dirty Pig replay. And that didn't work for us. It's, uh, I think we just like saying dirty pig replay. <laughs> no, I'm on Andrew Hoffman here. No, let's work this time. Here we go. Oh, nice little tap. Interesting spot there in Mercedes corner. And that's got the job done. Both of them look like they're going to get going. Don't forget there's no aids here, so the car stalls they've got to get it restarted so one starter that was Todd Martin it looks like Andrew's struggling to get it going and he has towed back to the pits let's go back to live pitches Daniel Norris has jumped on the stream. How you going, Daniel? Another vet's driver. Great little story about Daniel. His brother 
It's off to the Paralympics in the Australian men's like, rollerball. I'm not exactly sure what you call it, but the, the wheelchair basketball. Um, yeah, great effort. Good luck to his brother as he yeah, heads over to that's Tokyo. A, uh, that's a pretty cool feat there yeah. for anyone to say that they're going off to the Olympics. So that is, uh, yeah, that, that, that was quite fantastic. A bit of luck and I come home with a medal. Yeah, Daniel was pretty chuffed when he was telling telling the Vets boys the other night. So all the best to, to Daniel's brother. And Harrison Dengate's moving his way back up through the field. He's got himself back up into 15th place. 11 spots behind where he started. Our biggest hey, mover uh, at the moment in the field, up 11 spots, is this fella here, Mark Peck, from Pecky's Performance Racing. Um, for those who don't know, Mark's a very, very popular figure up in Darwin. He always, as he says, I've always got to come up and follow the slogans of the advertising campaign and go and see him in the NT. Um, Pecky's a pretty likeable larrikin in the vets but he does race hard just like the piston on the side of his car so it's good to see Pecky up 11 spots he's doing really well so there's some good battles and the other one up 11 spots at the moment as we go through the field having a look is our very own Simon Farrington so big faz or plucker as we call him just getting past here so I'll rephrase that he's now up 10 spots and might change that in a second up nine spots <laughs> getting past by, by getting past he's by Dan Crosby he's certainly his race craft over the journey even in the time I've been with the team has been uh, it's been really good to watch him come along and just the amount of laps that Faz does holy moly he would uh, he would certainly be up for another engine rebuild or two if these things had to uh, had to go into the rebuilders because he certainly racks up a lot of laps but you can tell though because his race craft and just his performance over the journey is just getting better and better uh, I'll never never forget his first race in the team I think he amassed something like 150 penalty points <laughs> oh, oh, <whoa. laughs> there you go there's a fun fact I didn't even know <laughs> but yeah as you said he's, he's come a very long way and I'll probably a big shout out to the race control boys in vets as well for helping us get Faz a bit further down the track than what he is but yeah he's turning into quite a quick driver which is quite good to see um, who else down the who back here is, uh, you know who else has come up a number of spots is Blair he's gone from 25th to 18th uh, Blair Van Rie uh, there's Ryan with that's, a, that's oh. another another big chunk here he is there he is. Oh, sort of unintentionally going to a WKMP car there, but just looking <laughs> at the numbers, that's a uh, that, that's a big chunk of spots taken up in, in sort of this first quarter. So it's still a long way to go, though, like we've been talking about, but it's all about setting you up, setting yourself up for that last stint. That's right. A few of the boys now are starting to come into the pits. So Ash Barella's in the pits at the moment. And... We'll start to see a few more of these boys, I think, start heading in shortly. So we might just jump back up the front and just check what's going on up the lead. So back on Blake. So still got Damian Johnson very close to him. Troy Maguire is a further eight seconds back from this pack. And then Jamie McKnight's a further nine seconds back. So I'm not sure what's going on there with Jamie. Probably these young guys are giving him a Let's not teach his wide line there from Damien. Um, mind you, like, you watch some of these young guys like Blake and Damien here and Troy going through their paces, and I forgot about the 24-hour race. Troy was in that team as well, the spot that I was talking about before with Jamie. Um, you know, these guys are doing cracking paces you know, and dealing with traffic as well. We might just jump on board here and do a lap with Blake. So three, turn one. Up into fifth gear here. And hard on the brakes. It's a very deceptive corner. Watch out for the red sausage or orange sausage in the corner. Cut this one a little bit as we come into the parabolica. 
push it out a little bit wider looking quite good in the parabolic yeah, this is the fastest part of the track here like I said before this is where we've seen most of the accidents in front of us here brake deep on the brakes deep on the brakes and then through the hairpin and then we head up into turn seven it's all over the back of the lapsed car here you think you'd get out of the way wouldn't you <laughs> it's Mr Farrington that just as we were talking him up yeah. <laughs> There we go, out of the way. Nice Very dive on the nice. inside there of Blake as we head into the Mercedes corner. It's a great track, this. I actually don't mind this one. It's a little bit challenging. It's quite a few people don't quite enjoy it, but I reckon it's one of those ones that's quite good to do. So now we come yeah. back around through mobile one turn, come into the Sachs corner, or Sachs corner. My German's not the greatest. <laughs> so it's called this the old stadium section. Still never forget the old Michael Schumacher racing through here in the crowd on its feet. As we come very, into the very swood, tricky this section yeah, too. into the swood curve, you've got to get that camber of the track makes it even more deceptive coming out. You don't want to get a lot of wheel spin. Yeah, and come just back the down. Lip, the ripple strips are just big enough to make your day very, Unbalanced. very unpleasurable if you catch them wrong. While we're sitting here, we'll do one more lap, only because I want to. We'll do it from the chopper. I don't know about you, but I've got the uh, I've got the notepad out just trying to get, you know, any sort of pointers by the time I get back into it. Uh, I'm trying to get as many pointers as I can get. Big shout out to Herman who's watching as well. And now our, our audience numbers has gone up to eight. Well, holy oh, moly. Crack it. Crack We're it. gonna be on P plate before we know it. <laughs> <laughs> This is some good stuff going on here. Still a few boys. Damien Johnson's gone into the pits while we've been talking. We missed that while we're on board with Blake. So Blake's obviously going a lap longer. So hopefully Damien might be trying the undercut. Blake's going fairly deep into here. And Scott McEwen and Josh Drage are going toe to toe there. Seventh Crescent Smart's coming through. Josh Drage has actually had a crash. So we might actually take a moment here. Actually, no, we'll wait and see if Blake pits. That's probably more important. He's coming through. He's got Darren Crosby, another good mate for bets in front of him. It will be interesting. I would imagine Blake would be coming in with the traffic. And yeah, yeah there he goes. Yep, here he is. <laughs> Wouldn't have been the best the far uh, chase. Oh, he just pulled it up in time there. He's uh, <laughs> wasn't leaving many metres left there. No, he weren't. And Troy Maguire behind him is coming in with him as well. So this is definitely a battle for the front. Let's jump back on with Damien Johnstone, who takes over our race. It was the first one to pit. See where we come out here. And going back to my fuel talk before of saving fuel and being on it. Jamie McKnight moves to P1. It's a cracking effort from the people's champion. It's always a, it's always a good thing, and I'm sure, I don't know, I've never been up there myself, but I'm sure it would be a lovely thing to uh, calm the nerves, getting a couple laps led under your belt and a bit of clear air. Well, it would. Here we go. Damien Johnson is trying to put the move on Steve Kennedy. Very tight. These are right. These are these are for spots too. So the no, boys aren't going to get out of your way. And oh, there's Blake out of the pits, and so Blake's out in front. Damien. Oh, there's a couple cars between them. A bit of traffic in there. Yeah. Damien Just... must have been caught up a fair oh, bit about that. Oh, gee. Big Jason, slide there. Jason Tibetito going the big slippery dip. Damien getting in the slipstream. Looks like Blake's actually probably won out of this battle here. Let's go to our race leader. Let's have a look at Mr. McKnight. Of course, you've got the Too Easy Finance West End Mazda Harrop. Not sure where his offsider is tonight. I don't think he qualified, but Steve Varga was also supposed to be racing tonight but I'm not sure where Steve is here comes Jamie into the pits let's see if this lap of waiting for fuel pays off for him and being followed straight away by Paul 
and rob from the looks of that yep both of them All coming three of them in so these are the fuel savers versus the rest Definitely haven't got the comms going, but McKnight all over the radio would be probably giving his own version of live commentary. Probably doing a better job than us. Well, I don't know. If we're up to eight viewers, I wonder <laughs> how many viewers he's got. <laughs> eight viewers. Let's jump back on the Blake. We'll see whether going longer pays off for Jamie. There's a few more in the pits there. Dang Bates in the pits. No, uh, Blake's definitely work his way back around. Nathan Gorse going out another lap. That's interesting to see. Come back up. That was lapped car in the way here in Maddie McMillan. Blake ducks into the slipstream. Knights out of the pits. Damien's uh, he's still battling away. He's chip, chipping him off. Car still looks clean. Seems to be doing a very good job. Although it's pretty interesting going into the hairpin. <laughs> Bit of traffic around him. Let's play Van Rie up into fourth. Up 23 spots. Or 20 spots, Doesn't sorry. That is a very solid effort, that is. That is. That is. Yes. And a big shout out to Jason Gambold commenting on oh, us. Good old Gamby. Old Gamby chucking the comments up on Facebook. Old Gamby from Wangaratta. If you're looking for a kitchen, tailor made kitchens. Someone parked off to the side there, not sure what they're doing. So Nathan Gore, surely he's got to be pitting this time around. Blake's got past him, so. Yep, diving into the pits. That's a fair yeah. stretch. He's gone two laps longer than what the leader has. So let's be interesting to see if that pays off for him in 20 laps time. Yeah, if he can, if he can get a good run out of the pits and if he's on a clear run or even if he's in some traffic, keep saving that fuel, he might be uh, he might be one to watch as we get yep. towards the end of this race. Yep. Archer, Blair Van Rie and Steve Kennedy have also dived into the pits. So... For those who know me, I'm usually running up near the back somewhere. So let's go down the back of the pack and have a look. And we'll jump down the back and see what's going on. And we've got, oops, my cameras are going haywire again. Mike Schroeder, he's parked up in the pit somewhere. And I'm not really winning here, am I? Hey, Ben Stewart. Don't know too much about Ben, but. Welcome aboard, buddy. The East Coast Series, the Detroit livery on the car. He's putting a lot of pressure on Pecky there. Andrew Hoffman's come out with the People's Champion, must be playing the fuel saver. I think Jamie's playing something. It'll be interesting to see. He'll have something up his sleeve, that's for sure. What it is, though. Looking forward for 40 laps time to see what he does. Yeah. Definitely plenty of traffic about now. It's tracks mm. getting it fairly crowded. On the a... race distance, they are all very scattered. Mm. So let's just have a look. Car 15. That's where there's a bit of traffic at. There's a few lining up behind Andrew Archer here. Blake's on the radio. I'm not sure what's going on. There's no incidents. Really amazed yeah. by the standard driving we've seen. It's been very high. The, yeah, hey? it's been, there's been some hard driving. There's been a, a few little, uh, sort of, I suppose you could say, hiccups throughout the field. But overall, there's been nothing that's been, nothing that's sort of caused a huge flow-on effect or nothing that's been wow factor, I guess you could say, with a, in a bad way. It's all been very, very good. Yeah, I'm, I've been quite impressed. So it's a great little battle back here that we've got. 15, 16, 17. If you're watching along at home, feel free to jump into the Facebook chat and let us know where you're watching from and who you're following and give us a rating out of 10. <laughs> cool. Now, now we're, uh, now, now we're uh, starting to push the, the envelope of seeing how good we're... Obviously, you reckon we're doing pretty good then, Johnny. <laughs> well, we're still on Discord. 
in the East Coast Discord channel and Ben hasn't pulled the trigger on me, so <laughs> we're doing too bad. Big shout out to Ben Anthony too, like the amount of work yeah. and effort that goes into running these series, you know, and Ben's a, a real real one for taking the punishment. Like as you can imagine for a young bloke to put your hand up and look after eighty vets, eighty blokes over forties and in the V eight vet series and you know, it's tough work and that, you know, as you can imagine we're all grumpy old bastards. Excuse my French, if you're watching at home. Um you know, so he does a really good job looking after that and to put your hand up yeah. and say, you know, I've got a great series, a great format and I'd love to take it to, to everybody else and give other drivers the opportunity because there are a lot of people ask Ben all the time, is there any way I can join Vets when I'm under 40? Um, so that was basically where the, the birth of the East Coast Series comes from. You know, ben loves this format, wants to take it further. Um, you know, so this first season is done free entry for everybody and there wasn't going to be a broadcast but I've put my hand up to get behind Ben because you know, he does do a great job with everything else that's going on. Yeah, it's always one of those sort of those thankless jobs that always happens so to be able to to put your hand up for one and then be able to put your hand up for a second one he, he must be getting a great kick out of it watching how many people he gets doing it and the reward for what he does it's certainly appreciated from a uh, from a driver's standpoint and being out of it now and what, even still just watching and doing this and still trying to be a part of it, like how much he must be doing behind the scenes to keep it going for everyone. It's a uh, certainly a, a top effort and a top-notch job there. Then Chris Thornton's pulled out, but he's pulled out so he can come and watch us, Nath, so sad there to hear go, you pulled man. out, Porto, but mate, it's glad you come and joined us. As we jump on with Harris and Dengate, Darren's dropped in to say we're doing a good job and it's tough going out there. And a big shout out to Andrew Galley as well. He's jumped on to watch. Now, now, now that we're into double digits, it's getting scary. We've got 12 people watching at the moment. Holy moly. If we keep this up, we might get more viewers than drivers. And <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do in that situation. We will definitely be relying on all the tips from everyone. Please and thank you in advance. That will... Uh... <laughs> We'll be on our opens before we know it. I get any more than 15, and I'm going to have stage fright. <laughs> if we go quiet, all the, all, every, all the viewers know why, and we'll just put a text up in the corner. Too many stage fright has hit. Anyway, Harrison's all over the back of Damien Cairns here from Taipan Esports. This is another great fight back from Harrison. I still don't know exactly what happened, why he ended up spinning or crashing and ending up back there. Um, yeah, not sure what young Harrison's been up to. Um, we might move forward back up through the pack again. Um, we might have a look at Jesse Griffiths, another Aubrey Wodonga local in his mutt racing car, I think. Wonder Bar, which is a local company, I think. So Jesse's all over the back of... Where are we, Jesse? All over the back of Ryan Van Reed. So for those who don't know, Ryan's the boss of WKMP Sim Sports. I'm just the team manager. And I'm just the one to give him a headache, that's all. Yeah, and his old man's watching as well, so I'll have to give a shout out to my brother. Um, he reckons we're doing a great job, which I find that hard to believe. I'm sure he's getting a good giggle at, uh, at us giving it a crack here. <laughs> So that, that's half the fun of it. As long as we give people a giggle, we've done our job for the day. That's right. That's right. And everything else is a bonus. That's right. And Thordace is told, just telling us that um, everything goes black in the VO headset at the hairpin. You're not going to have a good job stopping the car. Well, yeah, no, that's, a, that, that's not a good situation to have. It would be a... Uh... <clears throat> I feel like we could almost uh, uh, put in like our open your eyes joke there, but I mean, it wouldn't be pleasurable being on the other side of that to be turning into a corner or going into a corner at that sort of speed and having absolutely nothing to look at. It's, uh, it's scary enough doing it when you can't see with both your eyes, let alone the, uh, having IT issues and having it do that on you. Well, there are some drivers I know that I reckon just close their eyes and send it. <laughs> quite regularly. I'm 
I mean, that is another technique. That could be a good coaching <laughs> point, actually. It's, uh, oh, here we go. We've gone from drivers to commentators and coaching in one night. <laughs> yeah, nothing's stopping us now, Johnny. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. Let's have a look back up the front. So, Blake has pulled out a little bit. He's pulled out seven seconds from Damien, so I'm not sure what's happened there. We should be watching up the front a bit more, I guess. Um, I'm not sure, because Damien may have had an incident, but there's nothing showing up on my eye racing, so. But just right. been their lap traffic, or that traffic as they were coming through doing their pit scheme, right. yeah, pit stop, sorry. Or maybe Damien's dropped into a fuel saving mode, worrying about Mr. McKnight. Yeah. Jamie's still doing good in fourth place there. It's still cracking over decent times, so. Still on the radio all the time, too, so. I did get tipped off early on by Ben to um, not put the drivers live onto the stream. Probably because if certain people get upset, they might say certain things. Um, <laughs> but I'm yeah, sure. If you, uh, if you a few naughty words that might float out and beat us to that little beep button. I don't even know where the beep button is in iRacing. <laughs> That's for people that have their open commentary license, that is. Uh, so Harrison Dengate has gotten past Damien Cairns and Kirsten Smart's past Steve Kennedy and Faz has passed Anthony Cusper to move up to 32nd so there's a bit of change going on here let's have a look let's see if we can find a battle pack these, these guys have all spread out these first three or four guys oh Rob Carmichael's crash let's go to the Dirty Pig Clothing replay and it didn't work for me Well, we're waiting for that quick one from Bordo. Hopefully he can, uh, yeah, hopefully he can get those issues fixed and join us again next week. Yeah, it'd be good to see the water back. Oh, Rob Carmichael from Fishy Motorsport. Big spin. Got control, though. No damage. Didn't hit anybody. They're the best ones. Usually when I do that, I usually wind up in the wall and somewhat <laughs> end of race. Let's go back to live racing. And I was looking for a battle pack, wasn't I? Let's go back, have a look at Rob Carmichael, we'll pick him up. That spin is allowed for Josh Strage and Scott McEwen to catch back up on him and put a bit of pressure back on him. And as we go down here, we'll have a look at Craig Roffey. Craig putting all sorts of pressure on. Andrew Galley absolutely convinced as well that Jamie can do the best live commentary. <laughs> Who needs us when you've got Jamie, I guess is what you're saying, Andrew. <laughs> and we'll keep working our way back here. We'll go back on to Michael Dumbrell. Back on the Hyper Sonic Racing. Hope I said that right, guys. Then got another gap back to Harrison Dengate. He's working his way back through the pack. Dealing with some lap traffic. So they're all dealing with lap traffic at the moment. Got a few bibs and bobs there missing off Shane Roffey's car. That's Craig's brother. So they've got the Roffey brothers, both of them racing, which is good. Definitely some bits missing off that car. I'm not sure whether we've got fast repairs. I think you might get one fast repair in this series. I can tell you a race controller looking at something. So maybe something happened there. And we'll keep working our way back through the pack here. I'm going to try and show everybody's car because I think everyone's car deserves to be shown tonight. Go back to Damien Cairns. Love with, looking at all those different liveries. Well, the Type N livery, this is their brand new one. It's only probably two or three weeks old. 
Um, they lashed out and got a professional company to do it. Ben was doing all their liveries before. Well, I think it's a cracking looking livery. Um, the only thing is, when you raced against some vets, they've all got different colours. Now they've all got a one livery, so you know, it makes it a little bit harder to know who's who when you're passing them. Todd Martin's crashed. I'll give this another crack. We'll see if we can go to a replay. Oh, this has come off. That's pretty simple. I thought we might have had some carnage. No offence, Todd. And I was working my way through the field. Go back to Nathan Gore. As I said, I remember racing against Nathan once or twice when he first started. When he did his first season of Alsar Dev. But so, he's uh, another bloke. He's quite quick, young Nathan. He's chosen a nice, uh, that nice Castrol livery. I will admit, I do like that one. The old Larry Perkins. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a goodie. Mm. And we want to Nicholas Loveridge. One thing we need to do is get these guys into the SDK driver profile. Make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> and we've got Paul Young. And this is a good looking leverage too, the VFS racing leverage. Yeah, it's very clean, clean, tidy, simple and looks good. Hey, right, big shout out to all these guys. Kirsten Smart from Synergy Racing. Christian, sorry, smart. Um, you know, another quick guy. He's dropped into Season 8 of Vets. Absolutely cracking pace, keeping everybody honest. Uh, and it's it's great to see some of these bigger teams dropping in to the, this, this series as well. And then behind him we've got Andrew Archer. And the race maker, marker, livery. That's a t really tidy looking livery as well. Yeah. It certainly stands out, though. Yeah, there's not much I can do about there being more carnage in F F1 race, Herman. I'm sorry, mate. But is that almost a compliment for all these drivers? Herman's saying that all these drivers are better than the F1 drivers. We'll take that. New Premier Series of the World, this series. <laughs> Thanks, Herman. Coming. <laughs> Coming from a veteran's car karting race and talking about carnage, I think that's saying a fair bit. And we'll drop to Blair Van Rie. That's a great looking livery. I'm, I'm a little bit honest. I did that one. I, I, I made that one, so I'm a little bit honest. We'll skip that. We'll go to Steve Kennedy. I don't mind the old M1 livery. It's quite a good looking livery. These boys have done really well with it. Um... Mark, drop down the Mark Howard and the alcohol holder. Jason DiBetito. Oh, Jason's another bloke. He races hard and fast as well. You definitely know when Jason's around when he's when he's on track with you. you know he's coming. Uh, it's good to see. Nothing like driving hard and fast. Ash Barella. Ash is uh, race control for vets. Out on track. Show him what he can actually do himself. Um, right. And Ash is another... Oh, someone off the big time in the background there. Ash is another one who's also quite good in um, what he does. Yeah, it's quite a um, good drive that he does. And, yeah. We'll move on. Jesse Griffith done. Ryan we've done. Have a look at Ryan. As I said, I'd be biased for this. Let's have, have a look at the nephew. Can't say no to that. Great looking car again. He's uh, no. number 30 as well. He must have been picked for his number. He's normally number 18, isn't he? Yeah. He's, oh, Faz. Oh, oh, a bit of inter-team rivalry there over who gets number 18. Yes. And I think Ryan got beaten to it again. Okay, my mate Troy Sipple. Sips. Keep seeing the back of his back of his car. So he's moved into the Scorpion Esports. Yeah, that's a great new team that started in the last started this season. So Mick Rush and the boys, Mick, Mick and Scotty Perrins, if his boys are watching, jump on and say good day. Um, 
No, Troy's a, a V8 Vets driver, but it's great to see the um, Scorpion Esports logo showing up, which sort of came out of a few of the drivers from Old Mates and Sons. Started a new team this season, which was good to see. Here's another name I'm not familiar with. So Bly Ashland, welcome Bly. Another good looking livery. Good just by the way, everyone, just so you still know that Blake's still out in front with a um, reasonable gap still of about seven seconds from Damian Johnson and then dropping back to an interval of 15 seconds back to Troy Maguire and Jamie McKnight, nine seconds behind that. So um, as I said, I want to give everyone a bit of bit of air time and a bit of love for their cars and their sponsors and you know it's quite difficult quite difficult I know when you're running up the back you don't get much love on these commentaries all the actions at the front and when people crash like Ben Stewart what did you do Benny boy here he comes the old dirty pig replay I think he's just going to lose it here steps out tyres are old plenty of runoff area and we'll go back to life. A little bit of fatigue might be starting to set in on some of them. Long way to go. Been no safety car. Would surprise me. And another new I name. On the uh, commentator's curse. But I wonder if we'll go a... I uh, wonder if we could go the whole race without a safety car. Opening one for the season. It'd be scary. <laughs> um, funky. Funky on Discord has just told me that they had one fast repair this season in this race so geez Ben's being generous for a for a no aids series to give you a fast repair if it was me you wouldn't get one but if it was me I wouldn't be racing it's <laughs> <laughs> a reason well, that, that, that is a uh, that is a fair point it's <laughs> a reason I'm sitting here um Jamie McKnight coming up behind the back of Ryan Carlson in the Super Sheep livery. Welcome aboard, Ryan. Good looking livery, that one as well. Yeah. Don't mind that. We might just sit here while Jamie goes past. Yeah, the old Super Sheep. Always really good. We must be doing something right. Mate, we've still got 12 viewers. Holy moly, we're getting close to that 15 mark. <laughs> Gambo's just said if he wanted the yellow flags, he'll come start racing. Oh, uh, yep, let's go, Gambo. Well, uh, you know, there will certainly be the mix-up of every race, that will be for sure. We'll, uh... <laughs> I reckon Gambo would be, on the, he'd be dangerous on the go -kart track. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's quite a racer. When he's doing well, he's doing very well. But he's also one that comes out with a few interesting stories, shall we say, from the track as well. So it's mm. uh, your entertainment man is certainly Mr. Gamby. So I look forward to seeing you on the next couple of races, Gamby. Funky, if you're in Discord still, mate, jump in the green room and come and have a chat. You can tell us what happened or how, you got, how it went if you're part of the East Coast Discord channel. And so Nathan Cook, Cookie's done a fair bit of the OSR Dev stuff as well. So he's another one stepping up from from the OSR Dev. Um, now Cookie, quite a fast little driver, um, looking really nice in that Cobra livery. And Matt McMillan, I gave the boys the the paint file, so you can see he's added a bit of red to it. So it's still a nice looking car still. And the two McMillan brothers are a new addition to the to the WKMP team this season and they they've come ahead in leaps and bounds. It's been quite a um quite good to see. Uh, it's always good having new members as part of the team and watching that growth. Then we'll step back on to my M1 racing mate, Darren Crosby. Darren drives just as hard and fast as the rest of the boys in, in the vets. So it's good to see Darren jumping along to the East Coast series. And jump on to Shannon McMillan. We just had brother Matt before. And we've got another one here, Anthony Cuthbertson. So Anthony's another new name. I haven't raced against Anthony before from Stone Cold Racing. So it's great to see a few new faces in a new series. 
iRacing is a, a great platform, brings a lot of people together, and you know a lot of a lot of people are racing and a lot of people are enjoying themselves and and doing everything. Yeah, no, I, like the amount of yeah, like you just said, the amount of people and also the amount of people that can watch a sport that necessarily you can't always. Like even like let's bring it back to a go kart level, that which is sort of the cheapest form to get into, and not everyone can come out to watch a race on a weekend where everyone's got a computer, everyone's got a phone these days. So to be able to jump on and and watch something that necessarily doesn't always get watched, it's uh. It's little bit of fun a good bit of incentive to just try that little bit harder too that's exactly right and i've just lost my race sound speaking of which i've uh got good old mum and dad watching on this uh on this as well so hi mum and dad and i apologize for the amount of uh the amount of smack talk that's coming out right now but as you well know it is one of my uh it is one of my strong suits and we're giving it a go whilst watching some racing at the same time. And Christian Smart has just been in an incident, mate. So I'm just going to jump and have a look on the yep. Dirty Pig replay because Christian is one of the guys I had rated as being in the top 10. So we'll see what happened to Christian. That's not Christian. Let's click it again. Here we go. The old Discord. Yep, here we go. And he's dropped out, so I'm not sure what happened there. We'll go back to live pictures. Well, he's back on track, so it couldn't have been too tragic. Hopefully he's able to uh, recoup, that, recoup that time and get back into his rhythm and keep punching out some decent lap times. Yep. And back to live pitches, and we might just jump back up the front and see how Blakey boy's going. So Blake is still a good ten seconds now ahead of Damien Johnson. This is really entertaining <laughs> driving in a roundabout way. Um, we've got Damien Cairns in front of Blake. Damien's missing a bonnet, so I'm not sure exactly what happened to Damien there. Um, I've lost my in-game sound. So I'm hoping these guys are still getting it online. Um, if not, let me know. Are you getting sound, Nathan? Um, Otherwise, people are just hearing us talk with no race sound, and I'll have to fix that up. How's that going, viewers? That's a substitute sound right there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on Facebook and there's no car noise, let me know, please. Yeah. Fix it up. I, I think the uh, I think the car noise has dropped out there, Johnny. Yep. Okay. No, there's nothing but good old awkward silence when we both pause to listen for it. Then so. Yep. Well, uh, I can try and be. What we'll do is noises, I don't have think a, people want to hear that. Let's have another quick look at the track layout. And. Back. Well, how many laps is that? We've made 38 laps into it, Johnny, before we've had any uh, technical glitches or hiccups, as far as I'm aware. So for a first attempt, I feel like that is a very, very, uh, very solid effort behind the, the mouse clicker there, Johnny. Mm. I've still got no sound. I'll change to that. Some controllers. And it's back. Well, out of the 44 cars that we had started, there's 19 that are now on the lead lap. That's not too bad going. And yeah. that's good. Sound is back. I hope you enjoyed Sound another satellite view of the track map. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good drone you got there, John. <laughs> really good drone to be able to go to that. The picture is perfect. And... 
I do have a secondary problem that's going to occur, Nate, so I'm going to let you commentate for two seconds. Left on the supervisor, this could be interesting. Uh, I've got to work out how to do this. No, no, I might make it. I've got just got my phone running in the background here so that I can keep track of Facebook. We're getting there, Nath. Everybody at home, thank you for coming yeah. along for the ride. I'd say uh, yeah, thank you very much, all all the viewers that we've had going on. Those numbers aren't popping up on mine, so I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to do with that stage right. But we're up to fourteen, so pop in and out. Oh, we're down to 12 now, so we've definitely lost a few of the sound. But we were up to 14. I reckon we must have ticked 15 when the sound dropped. I told you we'd get stage fright. Yeah, that's You just commentators cursed ourselves. <laughs> so, back to the game. Blake is still a good distance ahead, trapping through traffic quite nicely. Let's go back, have a look at Troy. Troy Maguire from Taipan Esports. Had the pleasure of watching Troy at the Le Mans 24 hour race, one o'clock in the morning. Someone spun here, turn one. Waiting, waiting for Jamie yeah. McKnight to take the car. What do you got? Someone's crashed in turn one? Yeah, I think it was, it was 23 nine, nine. Let's have a look at Steve Kennedy. He just popped up on the crash on races turn one. There you go. Bang! Steve, what are you doing, son? Probably my fault. I talked Steve up before, didn't I? Sorry, Steve. Maybe we should apologise to the drivers for the <laughs> incidents and uh, <laughs> let them know that it was oh, our bad. Oh, looks like he's got it rolling, though. This is great to see, though, a driver that's actually waiting for traffic. He's probably watching his relatives closely at the moment. Watching, 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 and then throw it back around. And we'll go back to live pictures. But, no, stay out of everybody's way. No... Hero flick turn in front of people. No, that was great to see. Um, we've got the guys are starting to make their second pit, pit stops. We've got Craig Roffey in the pits at the moment. Um, let's go back to the man I promised I wouldn't look at. People are going to think I've got a man crush on him. The great man, Jamie McKnight. Do you reckon that he's got an earpiece in his uh, in his headset listening to us talk whilst racing? If he has, flash your lights. I believe I believe Jamie does run with um, four screens. I believe so. I wouldn't be surprised if he had one with with the stream up and live. But yeah, Jamie sitting in fourth. He's got a good nine second gap on the car behind and 16 second gap in the front. This is the time now we're really going to start to see the guys that are playing the pit stop game, the ones that have been doing the fuel saving. Oh, I probably should have done the right thing and got the calculator out and done pit windows and everything else, but I didn't. Um, uh, I think that's going to be green peas, not red pea plates, green pea plates before we can get to that, I think. So it'll be a, uh, <laughs> to increase our uh, experience range and inventory of uh, bricks up our sleeve. Well, I know that if, if Luke from Race Stars TV's out there, mate, my hat off to you. And Jake Speary, I think I laughed at you plenty of times. My hat's off to you now as well, mate. I haven't gone screaming at the, at the screen yet, but anything's possible because we've still got another 24 laps to go. And let's have a look. Let's see if we can find a battle. Someone a bit close. Well, we can get the race, uh, race distance has come and gone and sneaked right past us there too. So, uh, yep. Let's, let's be having a blast. Let's jump back on with Michael Dumbrell. He's in a bit of a battle pack here. So Michael Dumbrell, and then in front of him is Mitch Stewart. Harrison Dengate behind him. And Scotty McCune catching up on the back of this pack. I think this is really going to come down. I think that the guys that have saved fuel are really going to be able to push on a fair bit. And my golf game's now being insulted. You beat me to it. I was going to ask how good are you at, uh, at golf there, John, because I think Gambo wants to play you at a round of 18. 
Uh, I've played golf with Gambo at Royal Mittermitter Golf Course. And all I can say, Gambo, is, mate, my commentary would definitely better than your golf. <laughs> and it's on there. And look oh, at that, Harrison, yeah, up the big there. one. Harrison's going all out here. Yeah, there's plenty of room from both drivers there, though. Yeah, uh, Harrison's not scared. Each other. Dropping in behind. definitely on the charge Harrison he's having another look Where we go yep he's going Dengate coming in there that's good good driving now and the respect from the guys like Crosby and, and Stewart as well you know someone sticks it up the inside you just give yourself that little bit of extra space make mm. sure that you're alive and keep going it's like we said there's still another 23 laps to go here and although Dumbrell's not uh he's not giving in he's not giving it up for free making him work for it uh, and, and take it from me, Dumbrell and Stewart are not no slouch of drivers. They know what they're doing. The uh, H has managed to hold him out here. Uh, yeah, this battle certainly does not look over at all. Let's just have a quick look here and we'll go to the old pits. Because that's going to be the interesting thing, I think. If I can find out how to do that. Do, do, do. Bear with me for a minute, Nath. <laughs> That's okay, it was, uh, Dumbrell's also doing really well. He's, he started in eighth, and he's still in eighth position at the moment, even with the, uh, the battle with Harrison. So the track temp at the moment's gone up a bit too, so the track temp now is 32 yeah. degrees as well. So, here we go, Blake's in the pits at the moment. Maguire's in the pits. Yeah, Kennedy's still in the Jamie's pits. Out there. Roth. And I swore I had a. Harris, young Harrison getting a bit of support from Dad. Nice driving, H. He's uh, he's doing all right there, Darren. Let's see, see how far forty can get again. See what his pit strategy is like. So here you go, here's the pit strategy here, the leader. So we've got McKnight, would be due for a stop in a lap's time. Warboys has gone in after stopping on lap 21. So the leaders are all on a fairly decent lap strategy there. I wonder um, if Jamie's going to come in this lap or if he's going to push it out one extra lap again like what he did last time. Let's just bump that up there. So that's the strategy of the top 20 cars at the moment. So. They are all starting to come in and pit. And if they're pitting now, they should be able to put on enough fuel to go to the end. So you can see Warboys went a lap early last time. McKnight's gone 22, so I probably assume he'll pit at the end of 44. So some interesting strategies going on there. You're bringing out all the tricks here, Johnny. I'm trying, mate. <laughs> For those who've got and SDK... Let's go jump on board with Jamie in pit lane as he comes in and we'll go and grab Carmichael. So Fishy Rock Motorsports is coming in. We'll come round to our race leader in third place, Blake Warboys. And Blake's past them. H has come into the pits as well. Harrison's in the pits. Dan Johnstone, he's come around and passed them. Troy Maguire is the next one. Troy's got past. And Jamie still hasn't left the pits here. Jamie's been in for a little bit. Jamie's he's moving out now. Maximum been, amount of fuel. I reckon he is. I reckon he is. The old big knight is a fuel save master. I've seen him do it plenty of times. Harrison's still in few going past we'll jump back out and we'll give you a sit rep of where we're up to so Blake Warboys is still in the lead of the race he has a nine second lead over Damian Johnstone so from the two time Scops driver or one time split one one time split two Scops driver Blake Warboys is sitting ten seconds ahead or nine and a half seconds ahead of Damian Johnstone 
followed by Troy Maguire from Taipan Esports, Jamie McKnight from United Sim Sports, and then Nathan Gore in fifth. So there's been some cracking racing going on here. So let's just jump on Nathan. Nathan's just been passed by McKnight. So Jamie's moved up to fourth. So that's a fair effort from Jamie. So Nathan Gore's currently up 11 spots. So I wouldn't be surprised if Nathan's going to come in and pit this time by. And a big shout out to everybody again too. Thank you for watching. It's nice to know I've still got 13 people sitting in looking at what we're doing here, Nath. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's certainly going... Um what oh, 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 well, I might commentate, co uh, put a commentator's curse on ourselves again here, but I was uh, going a lot smoother than what I thought as I, uh, pun unintendedly, got that sentence very, very wrong. <laughs> Locked up and looped it the whole way through and tried to get it straight again and we just spun again. So that's about how well that sentence went. Let's just have a look at the pit strategies again here. We've got a few guys that have gone long here. So we'll bring all these up again. So just having a look where Blair Van Rees at. So Blair lap pitted on lap 23. Sorry, on lap 23. So Blair's going that little bit longer as well. Um, get... So it's interesting. A few of these boys have gone a little bit longer. McKnight did the, did the split like we thought. And Warboys is a lap shorter, so I'm interested how he goes with fuel. And yeah, it looks like most of them have done the, the 2244, and a few of them have gone a little bit shorter. Um, so I've mentioned C still. So most of these guys, apart from Blair Van Ree sitting in sixth, have had their second stop before we get down to Jesse Griffiths in 14. And Nathan, I think it's Nathan Gore. In yeah, Nathan in 15th and then Ryan Van Ree in 16th. So they're the next three to stop in there, which Gore's already yeah. stopped. So, yeah, it'll it's... It'll be interesting to see, yeah, how, um, out of looking at all those numbers, Craig Roffey, seeing how uh, he was the first to pit out of everyone for that. So either he's, he's relying on a safety car to get him home and have gained a few spots, actually to keep his spot there, or there must be enough fuel, or he's good enough at fuel saving to be able to get himself home and host for those last 26 laps. Let's go back down through the field again. We might have a quick look at a few of the other cars before we get into the, the final throws of the race. Seems we've got Blake a good 10 seconds up and then 10 seconds back to the next spot. We might go a bit further down the back and have a look. Go back to my mate Pecky, which she's nowhere to be seen. So he's obviously in there. Martin's in the pits. That doesn't look very good, all that smoke going out of there. That's not pretty. Who's got the marshmallows? Kim's not showing up either. There's Faz. What is this happening to me? Go back to CV1. Here's Faz. He's running really well here. Sitting in 33rd spot. Up nine spots from his start spot. And... Yeah. There we go. Surely he'd be happy with that. I'm going to slip back here to Kim Ferrara and Stone Cold Racing. Not a bad livery, the old Stone Cold. Mm. You're, probably, you're probably a bit too young to remember Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, yeah, it's uh, not going to lie. It's going straight <laughs> over my head, but I will smile of, and wave. And... A bit of WWE wrestling reference. <laughs> Definitely straight over my head. <laughs> Todd Martin's I know The Rock. The Rock and Todd Martin. I'm not sure he's just recovering from another crash there, but I'm not sure. Looking at him, he's pretty straight and rolling along. And Benny Stewart. Let's go. For some reason it's jumping back to scenic on me. He's obviously not there anymore. And Pecky's obviously gone as well because it's going back to seeing the camera. So let's jump back up onto Troy Sipple. Troy's coming out of the... Or going into the pits. That's on Cups, that's not Sipple, is it? There's Troy Sipple there. Another shout-out to the boys from Scorpion Esports. Oh, look. I've 
just got a big thumbs up and a big plug. What a great series this is. Organisers surely know what they're doing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, after, the shame, after the shameless plug we gave you before, Ben, get that. <laughs> it's like clearly race control got plenty of time on their hands, so... That's uh, <laughs> if you got if you got that much see that they're enjoying themselves. If you got that much time, Benny, why don't you come jump in the green room, <laughs> say good day, and tell us about the series and what inspired you to do the East Coast Race series after the punishment you go through with vets. And Josh Barella wants to know what happened to Ash. Ash. Where's Ash? Here he Ash is. is. Ash. Yeah. Ash is Ash. Twenty one. Twenty one. Sorry. Twenty one. He's four spots down from where he started. He's chugging along nicely. Um, I'd say he's had his second pit, pit stop, and I'd say there's probably one or two boys in front of him that probably still haven't stopped, that are due for a stop. Like he's coming up now to go past Jesse Griffiths, who's one who would have stopped. So he's now three down in 20th spot. Another great looking car. A little bit biased, as I said before. So you uh, you love your WKMP cars, don't you? Just because you were the man that made the livery. Actually, no, sorry, that was uh, the man that... Um populated it with the team that's the, right uh, yeah the the man that it's fun fact for everyone the man that came up with it originally was our uh, race leader blake all boys We're just clicking around one day and and uh popped up with it and said bit of a i change like this. around and then yeah and oh. johnny had a look at it and then bippity boppity boop all our all our team has a great looking car now and luke holland if you're watching mate you're not doing anything in race control, mate, so why don't you come in and jump in and say good day? Pulling out all of race control now, aren't we? Just waiting for Richard to comment now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is quite hilarious. So Damien Cairns, Taipan Esports, sitting in 17th place. Damien started, so he's up three spots from his starting position. He's got an I rating of 1,399, so Damien's quite a regular competitor for Taipan doing a really good job so to give you an idea of just talking about I rating of the depth we've got in this field you know we've got the likes of Damien Johnstone on 5,271 and then we come all the way back down at the bottom end of Jason Dibidito at, at 378 there's a big difference in, in I rating there um, for those at home who who are following along your i rating is basically your level of skill and standard of, of winning races we have what we call a safety rating as well and a driver rating but your i rating's the main the main one we go by so if you are one of the best in the world like max bianchi you'd have an i rating of 11,000. so it sort of tells you the level difference between some of the best drivers in australia and some of the best drivers in the world and you kind of the bragging rights and all the street creek comes out there yes and that's where if you go look at something like the the porsche tag her series which is won by australia's own josh rogers and good wkmp friend dane warren races in that one as well those guys are they've got some outstanding eye rating and some outstanding ability not saying that that blake and damien and troy and jamie don't have ability they are blow me away any day but it's just scary when you think you know, as I was saying before you watch you watch Jamie in vets dominate it and then you come watch him in another series and get dominated by other people you know, and like someone like Jamie struggles to make split one in, in OSR sorry not OSR in um, Scops get my race series right <sighs> certainly uh there we go. You got a bite from Lou, with uh, with being too busy to come into the commentary room. It's uh, uh th this is where the real action's happening, isn't it? Race control are uh, having a nice cruisy night, and and we're the ones throw off by we. I mean, you're the one throwing <laughs> around all the cool stuff on the screen. I mean, I'm just here as the uh, moral support in the background. Ah, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, how, how many viewers have we got now? 11 we've lost a couple mm -hmm. lost a Tragic. couple 12 
well, I guess the real action will be later on. Not everyone can sit down and watch it while they're driving. So it'll be interesting to see what comments we get later on. If, yeah. you are, if you are watching the replay, boys, feel free to jump in and give some feedback and let us know. And Oh, Damien there bouncing over the... What, Damien, sorry? we got got um, Damien Johnson bouncing over the curves there behind him in second. Um, yeah, if you're following along at home, it's it's good to see. And big shout-out again to, to Mary Harrison's grandmother and a big shout-out to Wendy Jamie McKnight's mother. I know that they're going to be regular viewers of our series. Yes. Um, we'll go back up. Better have a look at how Blake's going. See if it's still got a whole car there. It's all in one piece. And, uh, Can I have to have it? There's Blake bang Blake just in his rhythm, in his groove. Yeah. Just cruising on through. Hasn't got his normal spotter in his ear tonight. So I guess he's getting the job done. Um, thank you. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> it'll, uh, it'll be interesting to see what his comments are of our uh, of our performance. So uh, hopefully, see what he thinks. Oh, hang on. He was in the green room. Mr. Ben Anthony, welcome to the commentary. Hello. How are you going? Thank you very much, boys. I'm well. How are you? Good, mate. Do you want to tell us a bit more about the inspiration of the East Coast series? Oh, I just wanted an alternate for Tuesday night. An uh, make it a step up from the bet series, which I organise now. And you do uh, a great job with that, by the way. Thank you very much. I thought I'd try and get a stepping stone because there's a lot of guys in bets who... Uh, rely on aids and things like that driving aids so yep. thought we'd do like a step up type thing longer distance races uh, no driving aids so then if they did want to then progress to potentially look at trying to qualify for scops uh, they're effectively running without driving aids on now so they can get better no it's good it's a great concept really it's um like I said the regular Tuesday night racing is fairly well either OSR dev which is a development series for those who don't know um, with no fixed setups and driving aids and very much a about learned drivers getting a go where this sort of oh whatever listeners in the background there by youngie um, yeah so this sort of takes us up to that next level which sort of gets us close to scops and it's great to see some scops drivers in here sort of you know, laying down the gauntlet for the other guys to step up to um, so who, who would you say is the most impressed you tonight so far? Ben? Um, well, if you have a look at the top four, um, they are probably four that I would expect to be there. Yep. Um, even Rob Carmichael. Uh, I am impressed by uh, Josh there in sixth. Um, I haven't come across the name before, but I've been watching some of the moves he's making. and They're, they're quite clean, quite forceful, but... Um, yeah, very clean and, uh, yeah, no dramas. Yeah, no, it's, it's been quite good to see. He's, he's quietly plugged away at it and we were sort of commenting before that he seemed to be conserving fuel quite well. Um, yeah, well, I, I think I think there's going to be a few people in a bit of fuel trouble come the end of the race. Yeah, that's what we were we were thinking before, like, no, particularly yeah, in, the, in the first in, Like, the likes of Jamie know, knows how to save fuel. And a few of these other boys, I think, are going to get given a bit of a lesson, I think. Yeah, but I think the top three might be safe because they do have quite large gaps. So you've got, what, 13 from Blake to Damien, um, another 11 back to Troy, but then Jamie's another 16 back behind Troy there. So um, they have got a fair bit of room there where they can ease off for a couple laps just to save that fuel to get home. But if anyone will struggle out of the top, it will be Damien. Um, he seems to be only getting 21 laps out of a stint, but we'll see what happens. We've got young Harrison here putting putting the work over young Josh Drage. I'm assuming he's young. Young Harrison is putting the pressure on, so it'd be interesting to see how Josh handles this, this pressure now as we're sort of heading into the last 12 laps. Oh, well, I'm, re I'm really impressed with the entire field, to be honest. Um, first race of the series... I was expecting a little bit of carnage. 
there were a few incidents, but apart from that, we haven't anything, had anything called out to race control for probably nearly close to 30 laps, touch wood. Uh, so we have been sitting there, twiddling our thumbs, just trying to find some fun things to watch while we're <laughs> trying to and look you, And you decided to watch us. <laughs> That's it, mate. That's it. And as I said before, we're no Luke from Race Stars TV, but we're doing our best. Mate, <clears throat> from what I've seen so far, you're doing a bloody good job, so... Harrison on the big move here through the Parabolica coming down into the hairpin. It looks like he's got past Josh Strade. So Harrison Dengate moves up into sixth position. Slowly chipping away at him, young H. Right, it's got a bit of work though. It's 11 seconds up the road to the next one. Do you think it will get interesting in these uh, closing stages, Ben, or do you reckon they'll still be relatively well behaved? Uh, well, just, just going through the, the live timing here, most people have a... There's only a couple of cars that are probably within a second or two of the car in front. Apart from that, you got, like, most cars are probably minimum three to four seconds apart, so... Unless the proverbial hits the fan, um, I, I think we may probably just be status quo till the end. Um, I did have race control, or my fellow race control, um, ask me if we can throw a competition caution, but I told him no, that's not in the spirit of this series. So, um, if the drivers in here are good enough to drive without requiring a safety car, then good on them, no safety car. That's they'll, good. Uh, they'll certainly get fitter as the, as the series, go, series goes on, that's for sure. Yeah, well, hopefully we tie Jamie out for Thursday night. <laughs> Is that the real uh, reason, that, reason that this series started? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Jamie, Jamie does well on Thursdays, so... Yeah. Yeah. He'll be a tight yeah. boy, though, after this week. He will be, because he did a um, another Enduro on the weekend, didn't he? Last weekend? He, yeah, he done the Spa 24-hour with uh, Fishy Motorsport. So, done that with them, and then into 300Ks here, and then 180Ks at Nürburgring on Thursday. Good old Nürburg. Yeah, and then there's AOSC this Friday, 650Ks at uh, Red Bull to the AOSC series. So, uh, he'll yeah, eat. it'll be interesting. He'll eat that. If he doesn't blow his motor. <laughs> he has a reputation. <clears throat> I won't pick on Jamie because we all know how quick I drive on a Thursday night. So if you're looking for something to do on a Thursday night to watch, guys, don't forget to jump on to Race Stars TV and watch... So the first split of the V8 Vets from Nürburgring, as Ben mentioned, and then on Friday night, you get to watch the second split, which is where you'll get to see yours truly in action, hopefully not as the crash replay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no no dirty, dirty pick replays for you there, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been good this year, split two. Hasn't been much carnage. A little bit more carnage in split one. I just get blown away that the level of driving, the, the standard just... Yeah, you know, I, I get I get frustrated because I'm not improving. But then when you sort of start looking at the guys around you and the effort that they put in and the effort I don't put in, and then you look at the the standard of driving that everyone's doing, it's like it's I'm just blown away. Like I am getting quicker, I am getting faster, but so is everybody else. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the whole thing with the series. The, the level of competition has gone up massively since we increased it to accept uh, 80 drivers. So we'll um, we'll have to wait and see what next year, next season brings. Season nine, we already have reached our 90 driver limit that we want to hit. Sorry about the barking dog in the background, but um, yeah, we've already hit our 90 driver limit. So people can still apply, but they will be put on the reserve list. Yeah, it's great that you, you've got. 90 already signed up and what we've still got another six weeks to go um, before the start of the season or seven weeks to go I think it is and we've got coming up week 13 you've got the Vets Bathurst 1000 and I think you've still got a space for a few more entries in that from the from the boys from the Vets so if anyone's watching that hasn't entered yet you better get your entry in correct oh, uh, I've just received a message from race control things. I have to go Oh, no Ooh. worries. I'm required. Oh, good. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. We might see well, some. Thanks, Ash. Ben. All right. 
I'll just quickly go back through here, guys. I'm not sure what Troy that Sipple would be for. To have a bit of smoke coming out of his car here. Troy Sipple. Doing good at a, yeah, he's a, doing good at avoiding all the uh, avoiding all the oh, oncoming traffic. That don't look healthy. That's a blown engine. Mm. He's off track there, but looks too. I'm not sure where he's going. Let's change back to the static camera. He's taking the shortcut through. Uh, I think I'll just try this replay. Might show me what happened. I'm not sure. No, it's not telling me he crashed. So it might have just been a straight up engine blow, I think. Nathan? Yeah. Will he make uh, it back to the pits? He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Fingers crossed, will he get there? Let's go, Sips. Dive it in. Oh, could he get pinged there for an unsafe pit entry? Hopefully, hope uh, for his sake, hopefully he hasn't used up his fast repair earlier, so he can roll in there. He's rolling in. Anyway, let's go back to the front of the track, see what's going on. Poor old Sips battling in there with a the blown engine by the looks. Nath, we've got Blake still out in front. A commanding 20 second lead now. Oh, we've got a drive through penalty for car 351 for contact on. with Ash Barella. So let's just go back here. Ash was involved in something a few minutes ago. I'll see if I can find it. Let's have a look. This could be something here. Go to the Dirty Pig replay. Whoop. And oh, big dive up the inside. Just a clip. Not too much drama, but I'd say that is what the penalty was for. Mm -hmm. So that was a penalty to car 351. And we'll go back to live pitches. Just enough to be inconvenient. Mm. Big shout out to the Dirty Pig Clothing Company too. It's a clothing, yeah. clothing company that doesn't just specialise in skinny models. They do up to extra large sizes. Extra, 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 extra large sizes is what I mean. Um, yeah, big shout extra out to Extra lovable. All. Extra lovable sizes. <laughs> um, and my phone has died, so I don't have access to a charger up here. Why is that? Nearly survived the race from on lap 58 of 66, so... Yeah, it's... um. If you've got, I'll just see whether this upsets the picture. Oh, I'll just leave it. I won't try and upset anything else. If you're on Facebook and I've leave left a message, guys, I'll get back yeah. to you at the end now. I'm going to talk this all the way through for the last seven laps. Blake Warboys. Okay, okay scraping the uh, scraping it in. My phone's still got a bit of charge going on. So yeah. she's uh, a any comments, feel free to send them in, and I'll relay into Johnny. And we'll both have a crack at trying to get it. Right, right, let's have a look, see if there's any battles forming as we've got we run through the pack here. Blake Warboys is a full pit stop ahead now, which is quite scary, so he's twenty-four seconds ahead of Damien. Damien Johnston. He's flying around through here, he's looking quite good. Jamien's he's a full six seconds ahead of Troy Maguire. Troy from Taipan Esports. He's driving along. He's a good 14 seconds ahead of Jamie. So the old enduro race has got the boys spread well and truly out at the moment, unfortunately. So I'll keep working down through the pack. It's come to my great mate Jamie McKnight. Big shout out to Jamie. The Too Easy Finance, West End Mazda. Entry from United Sim Sports. And then sitting back in fifth, who's made it up. Jamie's up five spots. Rob Carmichael from Fishy Motorsport. The old Fishy Motorsport boys, they're fairly tough competitors and have been for my whole time. I've been racing in, you know, racing. He's done and a good effort too to go from 13th place to in the top five here. So uh, it's a right. solid stint so far. And Rob and the boys usually do some good streams too. So if you're on Facebook looking for something entertaining, those boys are usually streaming. And then in sixth place, He's down two spots from his qualifying spots. Young Harrison Dengate. 
he's done really well to keep battling on here from the trouble he had earlier on in the race. Um, so H is a good good gap back to the next car, so I guess he'll just keep plugging along. And next we've got is Josh Strage, Ben's call out for the race. He's done really well, Josh. Don't know too much about Josh, but I'm sure we will learn a bit more about him as the series goes on. Yeah, doing well in the top ten there. He's, uh, I'm sure, will be a regular, regular name, regular face up near the pointy end. Absolutely. My good mate from Vets, Michael Stewart, in the hypersonic racing. He's doing reasonably well. He's about four seconds behind Josh Strage, plugging away, and about two seconds ahead of Michael Dumbrell, his teammate behind him. And there's Michael there, going past Plucker. Simon Farrington, there's the lap traffic, and Bly Ashland in there as well. Okay, good old Faz, he's doing well, he's battling away there. And we'll move on to the next one, it's Scotty McKeown. Oh, Faz is out of spin, <laughs> missed that one. So Scott McEwen, also from Hypersonic Racing. And sitting behind Scotty, as we work our way back through, is Craig Roffey. He's the last man on the lead lap, too. He's done well, Craig. He's down yeah. four spots, but I'm quite impressed with how well he's done. And then the man who's up six spots behind him is Christian Smart. It's another Vets driver from Synergy Racing, or Synergy Sim, Sim Racing. Christian's battling away. Oh, Faz seems to show up in every shot I go to at the moment. <laughs> it's uh, not to confuse the viewers. It's not a dirty pig replay watching Faz on the screen. This is live footage. <laughs> um, uh... so next list we've got Nathan Gore back in 13th. Nathan is two seconds behind. Kirsten Smart, four, five seconds ahead of Paul Young behind him. So keep clacking away. And it's Paul Young battling away in the VFS racing. And Nathan Nicholas Loveridge is the next car back on track. Followed by Archer. And followed by Howard. So the boys are all battling away. It's, good effort by Howard there. 29th up to 17th. He's doing really well. Ooh. So our hard charges, Mark Howard at the moment. And our other one is Simon Farrington, who's up 11 spots. So if Ben's listening, if he can get the boys after the race, if he wants to send in the top three and the hard charger, we'll even have a chat to them afterwards. Well, here we go. Now we're really, uh, we're, we're going in for the, uh, the all-out the... entertainment. <laughs> uh, oops, Scotty McEwen's had a crash. Let's have a look. Let's go to the Dirty Pig replay. What did Scotty do? Oh, that just lost it. That is such a tough corner, that Mercedes corner. Mm -hmm. Balance of the car or that ripple strip just throws you out every time. And Shane Roffey's also had an off as well, so have a quick look what Shane's done with the old Dirty Pig replay. Seems to work every time I click it now, which is nice. Getting the hang of it. Ah, just a bit too much power coming out of the hairpin. That's quite a common, common mistake to make here at Hockenheim. And we'll go back to the leading, go back to the leader, have a look what's going on. So Blake Warboy's about to start lap 63, 66 laps. Doing a cracking job, Blake. You might say it's his favourite uh, favourite lap. Number 63 on lap 63. Exactly. That would be the one. So, so he's got Damien Johnston 31 seconds behind him. So I'm probably assuming Blake's maybe right for fuel. So let's have a quick check of the fuel strategies of the top top cars and we'll just see what's going on. So as we can see, they've all had two stops or more. Roffy's doing really well with three stops. So I'm quite surprised by that. Did he sit in the top 10 with three stops? 
Um, probably had a, may have had a drive-through or a penalty in the middle there. And so you can sort of see they're all in the same, pretty much roughly all in the same strategy there and out of the top four or five cars, sort of either stop 33, 42 or 44. So Johnston's probably the one that stopped the earliest. So he's probably the one that's probably closest to having fuel issues, I think. But we've just got to wait and see how this folds out. Blake's... Yeah, it'll, be, it'll be interesting because there's, there's three, yeah, roughly three seconds between Damien Johnston and Troy Maguire into these closing laps. So well, for Troy, I wonder if it's a case of the, the carrots dangled right there and if he'll he can push on and make something happen. And let's jump on board. Before we get near the end here, we'll do another lap with our race leader, Blake Warboys. To see if we can listen in. Could be on for a game changer here. Jumping on board with Warboys. Warboys in major fuel saving mode, as you would have just heard there when he got off the throttle and rolled. Rolled and coast. Well, at least. He has got the time gap behind him to do it. Oh, could be interesting. Let's go Let's sit on board with Damien. We'll see whether Damien's in the same scenario. No, he came down there with a lot more throttle. A lot, mm. lot softer gear change, though. I might check Maguire as he comes down there. Maguire's caught up there. Maguire's right behind Johnson. This is game on. Yeah. This is game on. Ben Anthony, Ben Anthony, the series series coordinator, series owner, he called it early. Yeah. He said we could be playing some fuel strategy. Someone off to the side there. That looked like the pig. Oh, this is all to play for. Maguire is definitely really. This is all to play here. for. Must be, yeah. Must be good for fuel. Must be. All over the back. All over the back of the Synergy Sim Racing car of Damien Johnston. Not afraid to let him know that he's there as well. No, he's not afraid at all. That just did something funny on me. That's better. Sorry. I won't click that button again, guys. Still learning SDK. As Nathan said earlier, I've got the old plates out. <laughs> Great pass there. I'd say Damien could be in some fuel trouble. Hopefully Troy's got enough. Hopefully. Look at the grass there for Troy. It's not going to help the situation. No, it's not. Just listen here, see what it does, see if it gets out early. Right, he's, he sounds like he's got full full fuel, which is rather interesting because when we go back to the pit stop, Maguire stopped on lap 43, Johnson stopped a lap earlier, so he got Warboys out the front. Slowing up a lot. Uh, he's, he is actually, maybe Johnson's in trouble. He could be in trouble. Oh no. Let's jump on with the Mr. McKnight. You could say this man could say fuel. It's the last lap though, the white flag's out. Amy's definitely struggling. McKnight's still got to get up the road though. McKnight's still got four seconds. It's going to be close. This is going to be close here for the third spot on the podium. Sure, Jamie's watching those relatives and can see that he's closing the gap, so he'll be giving it everything too. And McKnight would know how to save fuel. 
This is what we've been saying all night. Mm -hmm. I called it early. Let's, sure jump on, let's jump on the helicopter and see if we can see up the road a bit here. As they cross into the last lap here, we've got third spot chasing. He's now only 1.8 seconds behind Damien Johnstone. This is going to be really epic. <laughs> We're in for a close finish after all. And we can see, here we go, coming in. McKnight. Did we see Johnstone has enough fuel? Oh, sorry. Internet drop out there. Yeah, no, no, it happened on my end too. But yeah, it'll be... Has Johnston got enough to push on now for this final lap or does he have to keep saving for all of it? Oh, McKnight's having a look. Here we go. Oh, Just send it, Jamie. Oh, oh, oh McKnight. <laughs> oh, good thing we're on the helicopter for that. McKnight lets him go past. That's great. That's great there. He didn't push his way yeah. out of it. <clears throat> Redressed it. And it quickly cross back. Time, Blake Warboys crosses the line for first. We're going to stay on this battle here, guys. Enough, I think they that Jamie might have cooked his tyres in that one. Johnston might not have enough fuel still, so let's just keep watching here as we're going to have Troy Maguire come round in the last corner into second, and we'll watch this battle here for third and fourth. I think Jamie might have cooked it in the hairpin, unfortunately. So we oh, have... Oh, he's out of fuel! Oh, he's out of fuel! Oh, yeah. no! Damien, Johnston, we thought you were home, mate. We are so sorry. Yeah. I have commentated cursed you. I feel really bad. Oh. <laughs> Jamie on the podium. Well done, Jamie. Hats off to you, mate. Hats off to you. Now, Maguire for second, Jamie for third. You know, the problem now is if Jamie, if Ben tells them all to jump in the green room, you know who we're going to be talking to, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll take two now, thank you. And let's talk about oh, through the rest. Has, has Damien made it? Yes, he's just made it he's across. He's just made it Still across. The finisher. Sixth place in the end. Oh, that's Sixth place. So Harrison Dengate got past him. So let me just quickly read out the results here, guys, before we go into too many other things. What jump on the blimp. We have Blake Warboys in first, followed by Troy Maguire from Taipan Esports in second. Jamie McKnight in United Sim Sports has gotten past da Damien Johnstone running out of fuel. In fourth place, we've got Rob Carmichael in... <laughs> Something's been pushed back to the pits there. Yeah, Blake's been pushed back to the pits by last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Blake was cutting it. So moving, moving back on, we have... Start again. We've got Blake in first, Troy Maguire in second, Jamie McKnight in third, Rob Carmichael fourth, Harrison Dengate has fought his way back up to fifth. That's not too bad. Damien Johnson, unfortunately, out of fuel in sixth. And then we've got Michael Stewart in seventh, Josh Drage, Craig Rolfe, Michael Dumbrell, and after Michael, we've got Christian Smart, Scott McCune, Paul Young, Nathan Gore, Nicholas Loveridge. Andrew Archer, it's great by Nicholas to get up into the 15th. Andrew Archer, 16th. Mark Howard, 17th. Damien Cairns, after losing the front end of his car, back up to 18th. And Bly Ashland in 19th. And Steve Kennedy, 20th. I might just try something. We'll see if I can get this to come up. So I don't think... Uh... <laughs> I don't think Blake's going to be doing any victory skids after taking the maiden no, win for the series so if he's out of fuel. We, uh... I don't think so either. No. Yes, uh, that was a really epic first call. Um, no, thank you very much for... Yeah. Coming in and joining yeah, me no. with your, your broken finger. Yeah, thanks for including the uh, the crippled hand club to come and join commentary. It was uh, greatly appreciated. Yeah, and I hope well, I haven't got my phone to check what's going on, but hoping those that were on Facebook and have watched the telegast from start to finish have enjoyed it. Yes. Done Thank the best. you all double digit viewers that did watch that. Yeah, done the best Put I can. Up with us. <laughs> done the best I can with what I've got and crash course in SDK over the last five days and a bit of help from Ben to get a few other things sorted out. Yeah, so. 
you reckon, do you reckon? How do you reckon? How lucky we are to get the uh, top three and hard charger in? Hopefully Ben's asked it for that. Still can't get the race results up. But that was a good race to watch. I really enjoyed that. I like the more enduro long distance races. The boys have got to do the best they can and drive in a manner where they're going to save fuel and particularly in a series like this you just don't know if you're going to get a safety car so you can't bank on it it's not like one of those series where you have the compulsory safety car so you know it's going to come at some stage and you can can hopefully have it drop in or drop out you're um yeah. you're sort of stuck in the in the case of you know you've got to have a, the ability to change your strategy on the roll where you're going through and you know i'll probably say that that's that's pretty well much where the more older experienced drivers have it over the younger guys and the younger guys have probably got a little bit more pace over the older guys but it's um always going to wind up being a battle at the end yeah, um, exactly and like, and like ben was saying earlier it's a perfect series to for all the younger drivers yeah. it's a perfect series to get that experience and and for the older guys it's a perfect opportunity to perfect opportunity to fine fine tune those skills and hone them in and Mix it up with the old guys. And a big congratulation goes out to Blake Warboys on winning the first inaugural race of the East Coast E-Series. Congratulations, Blake. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. That's, uh, not bad, considering you had to have a little nudge there at the end. <laughs> yeah, it coughed going over the line, but that's all right. Yeah, we jumped on towards the end there and noticed that you were doing some pretty drastic fuel saving. Yeah. Um, but you sort of had the had the space in front of you um, and you missed all the action at the end there with Damien Johnstone basically running out of fuel, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I heard Harrison pipped him right at the line there. Yeah, Harrison fought back quite well. Um, mm. No, it was quite a quite a good quite a good race to watch, mate. You, any dramas with the setup or anything like that? Like, or just all went fairly well to plan considering it was, was flagged to... To fit the flag, uh, pretty well to plan, really. Like, the setup was quite nice, just a couple of roll bar adjustments as the tyres start to go away and the fuel load come off, um, just to settle the rear and get a bit more front end bite. But other than that, just not pushing the car, hitting the marks, just keeping an eye on the gap behind. Yep, yeah, that was about it. Yeah, so you. Yeah. Fairly high standard, you reckon, with the boys out there? Like, there no drivers oh, yeah. in, in traffic or anything like that? A uh, couple of guys still, obviously, learning a bit about what to do under blue flags and that sort of stuff. But, yeah, very high standard for the series. Um, I reckon anyone that wants to join in should definitely join in. Uh, it's great fun. Great, great bunch of guys. And is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to? Uh, well, first of all, shout out to the team, WKMP Sim Sports. Uh, great team to be a part with, a part of. Uh, Wodonga Carts and Parts, WKMP Race Engines, LGK Carts Australia, uh, Kinetic Industries and Kinetic Motorsport, uh, and Dirty Pig Clothing. The old Dirty Pig got a fair run there in the yeah, replays. There's a, <laughs> yeah, there's a number of Dirty Pig replays tonight, both successful and successful. try again attempts, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, but we're ironing out the kinks there. It's uh, uh, I don't want to throw it out there. It could be one of the one of the up there all time first ever attempt for a learner commentary team <laughs> replays for this evening. Oh, did, very good. We did get some tips from a bloke called Stuart Warboys, but hey. Uh, I thought right. he'd be in there. Thought he'd be yeah, in there yeah, for sure. Hold back or, <laughs> if you're still watching, Stu. That's uh, good. Good to have you a part of the team. I think we only had one stage where we lost sound. That was because I was trying to charge my phone. But that's all right. <laughs> that's yeah. all right. But I don't think the uh, viewers appreciated me making car noises because we were <laughs> over that. But oh god, <laughs> you know, can't, you win some, you lose some. Can't wait to watch that back, eh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to get to hear from Troy Maguire or Jamie McKnight. I thought they might have come and jumped in to say good day as well. And yeah. just for those playing along at home, the hard charger was Mark Howard. 
He made up 12 spots. Sensational effort. Sensational effort by Mark. So, yeah, would have had you in for a chat, Mark, but next time. So, yeah, I think we might decide that we will wrap it up, I think, Nath. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I honestly didn't, um, I didn't know what to do when we got to this point, let alone like all the rest of it, let alone what to do for a post-race show. So I hope that this part of the post-race show with our guest, uh, Blake Warboys, I shouldn't say that so much. He's had to explode in this house. I don't know where else to walk around. Um, <laughs> I guess it's not every wow. day you get to talk to your house, mate, I guess. Uh, uh, too much. It's interesting because all we're going to do is pull off the headphones and talk anyway. But <laughs> uh, now nah, look, we'll be back next week, guys. That'll be something to look forward to. I think I did commit to this for Ben. I think Ben's trying to get this series off the ground, so I'm quite keen to make it happen. Like I said, I'm no Got to this point, let alone like oh, Star heck. Blake War Boys. Um, it's yeah, it's going to be good. I think it'll be. Be a good series to do, and we're um, learning as we go. And I think these guys are learning with us. So I think, at bare minimum, we brought the entertainment value. But at least I <laughs> surely hope so. That's how I'm going to help like sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got ten viewers, and you're going to laugh. Yeah, at... so still in double digits. Thank still you very much, digits. everyone, for listening to us. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was angry, but I'm not sure who that was. Stuart was angry. <laughs> Of course he was. And yeah. yeah. There we go. Thanks, Mum. Just throw that out there. And thanks, Mary, for uh, for all the well wishes and, and watching the stream. And I'm having trouble here trying to work it out. Turn this off, which is quite funny. So keep talking, you know. Oh dear. Well, uh, <laughs> wait. How was that one? <laughs> That's a long time ago now. Oh, yeah, like quite a long time ago. It's Even probably... remember the start, or...? Oh, yeah, sort of. I oh, see a lot of cars cool. going into turn one behind me, and that was about it. Waiting for the safety car, but it never came out. It was Everyone did a really good job, I think. Yeah. Well, the, the standard was very, very good to watch sort of the whole way through, and especially thought it might have been starting to get a little bit interesting once the... Uh, once you guys at the front they started getting to those lap cars, but no, everyone seemed to be doing a very, very good job at giving enough room when required and not causing any uh, kerfuffles. Yeah, yeah. Our standard in this series and what Ben's brought along for the series is great. So, um, yeah, and uh, great job in race control to the guys in the race control as well. Did an awesome job, very quick onto the calls. So, yeah. Yeah, I think we had Luke Holland in there helping him out tonight, so that was quite good to see. Yeah. And i got no idea how to do this, so I think we just stop. Okay, well, uh, how was lap two then, Blake? Can you remember back? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, you can yeah. talk some junk. Uh, we got 66 more attempts. Oh, sorry, 65, 64 <laughs> more attempts at this. I can math, I promise. Oh. Are you sure? I no. think what I'll do is I think I might just stop it on OBS and we'll see what happens after that. So we're going to leave it here, guys. Hopefully the awesome. screen will stop. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Yep. And all the best. See you all next week.